Welcome back. I am here with our newly engaged bachelorette, Claire, and her fiance, Dale. Yeah. First of all, it's good to see you guys so happy, and congratulations again. But let's talk about this. There are those in Bachelor Nation that just don't believe that this is possible, that it happened like this, that it was love at first sight. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to have people question you and question this relationship? I think I'd be lying if I said it didn't hurt me because here is something that I finally found that makes me so incredibly happy, like to my core, to finally feel this type of love that I have been craving and wanting. Ah, like I just wish people could be happy for us. I'm gonna ask you guys, once and for all, did you guys communicate, talk, meet, text, anything before that first night? Did you lie to all of Bachelor Nation? 100% no. And I could wholeheartedly attest to this on my dad's grave. There was never, ever a single ounce of contact, communication through friends, through outlets, through phone numbers, through any sort of source of anything. Yeah. And I think that to me is honestly one of the most beautiful things. Claire and I never once spoke, never communicated, never talked, never texted. It was after we got engaged that he was like, can I have your number? Yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't I get, get a number. number. Yes, it was like, uh, we, it was before I was going to finally go home. Yeah. It's unprecedented. It's never happened in the history of the show. We've had amazing love stories. Yeah. Never actually two weeks later shut it down. We're engaged. That's and, the thing, though. That's the thing that people aren't understanding and putting into play is that yeah. This has never happened in the past because this whole season has never These happened. These are in the past. extraordinary times. <laughs> yeah. We've never had a pandemic in the past before. That's part of this. For four months, we all waited yeah. and anticipated starting. And yes, you were on social media and you had that access to each other. Yeah. And we usually don't have that. I followed a lot of the guys on the download to see how they spent their time and what they were doing. And Dale was the one that was being a strong man, but opening up and being vulnerable. And I think people need to think about that when they're thinking like two weeks. Yeah, I understand that. It was fast paced, but this is the first time a 39 year old woman has sat up here and been chosen to find the man of her dreams out of this many men. And I know exactly what I'm looking for and exactly what I want. I've done nothing but respect this entire process, and I cannot reiterate that enough. Well, yeah, you blew it up a little bit. But... <laughs> <laughs> I respected it, and things happen, but I've never not, not appreciated this and not put my whole heart and everything I believe in into this. Like, I'm so happy. Like, how he makes me feel is literally like sunbeams out of my heart, like into the world. I know that sounds so stupid, but I just feel it to my core, and whether it took one day or 10 days or two weeks or two years like this man makes me happy we love this man yeah absolutely and i tell him that over and over and over and over again she says it a lot i tell him i'm so obsessed with him. <laughs> well that I, the the feeling is mutual and i you know again coming into this you think like is this possible like it is but there's more at work than i could ever explain yeah. and i love her with every ounce of my being and the m most exciting thing is what we have coming up. What is next for you guys? Moving in together, wedding, what's up? I think like, you know, obviously. Babies. <laughs> uh, really like, we, we talked yeah, a you just bit. you just skipped right over that. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just skipped right babies. over that. No, are, we, are we having babies first or are we gonna get married first? Yeah, Whatever. we're gonna get married first. Whatever uh, happens. We're just happy to like start our lives together yeah. and to get to know each other more and more and more. Well, I now pronounce you engaged. Hey, hey. You may kiss your fiance. <laughs> I love you. Me too.